Introducing Stake, the go-to tool for validating and delegating on the Avalanche network. Experience the most seamless way to stake, delegate, and perform cross-chain transfers between the X, P, and C chains. With Core Web, you can stake directly to your validator or delegate your AVAX with absolute control over the configurations like the stake amount, staking duration, and delegation fees. For this tutorial, we are going to validate using Core Web. First, make sure that you've downloaded the Core extension from the Google Chrome Store and created a wallet. Once you've done this, you can connect your wallet to Core Web and you're ready to stake. Navigate to stake, which is on the left side of the menu in Core Web. Then you can select validate now. Validating is your means to participating and contributing in the decentralization of a blockchain network. So when you stake your tokens, the network rewards you with additional tokens for your technical services. Stake lets you easily stake your tokens to your own validator node without additional fees and without having to use an intermediary or third-party DApp. Your tokens remain your tokens. Before staking your tokens, you must have an existing node. So if you don't have one, there's a link where you can learn how to set one up. Otherwise, you can click learn more just below that. And if you're ready to go, you can click get started. And for this tutorial, again, I'm on testnet mode. So I've toggled on the testnet, which can be located in the settings section up here. And so to stake to a testnet node, you only need one Fuji AVAX token on the P chain. I've already transferred over some tokens cross chain using Core Web. So I have 9.99 Fuji AVAX available that's already on the P chain. For this tutorial, I'm gonna stake the full amount. So I'll click max. If you don't have any AVAX on the P chain, you can actually go right below and you can click transfer AVAX to do a cross chain transfer. Otherwise you can swap for AVAX or use the testnet faucet to get some Fuji AVAX. Once you've selected the amount that you want to stake, click next, and then you can choose your staking duration. You can select how long your tokens will be staked. Generally, the longer the staking duration, the more rewards you'll receive. It's really important to highlight staked tokens will be locked for the selected period. Once you select the staking duration, you cannot change it later. So check it before you submit. If you wanna learn more about that, you can click learn more here. There'll be a graph that's displayed that shows you your estimated percent of rewards depending on the duration you select. For this example, I'm gonna select six months, which will earn an estimated 5.147% over six months. And then I'll click next. I'll need to enter the node ID that's associated with the machine that I've set up to act as a validator for the network. So if you do not have a node, again, you can delegate or you can learn how to set up a node by clicking above. I've already set this up, so I'm gonna paste in the node ID and then click next. You then can choose your rewards address. So you can choose the address that the network will send the rewards to. Make sure it's the correct address because once the transaction is submitted, this can't be changed later or undone. So I'm just gonna leave it as the default address, which is this wallet, and click next. Other individuals can also stake to your validator and receive rewards too. This is known as delegating. So you can benefit from the rewards they receive by charging a fee for using your validator. If you wanna learn more about that again, you can click above to learn more here. For this example, I'm gonna set the delegation fee to 2% and then click next. Here, it's gonna give a summary. So you need to review these details carefully because again, it's final once you submit your transaction and the parameters you've configured can't be changed or undone. In the summary, it's gonna list the stake date range. It will tell you what network you're on, the total amount that you've staked. It will also give you the node ID, reward address, delegation fee, everything we just went through. And then you'll see your validation rewards. So you'll see the percentage, cumulative over the time that you are choosing to validate. So 5.147% for six months. Otherwise it gives it to you annually as well. Once you've reviewed all of this, you can then click submit validation. This will open up a window from the core extension where you can add a validator and you click approve and the validation transaction has been submitted. You can view this on the Explorer or you can go right back to core stake. I'd like to view this on the Explorer just to check it out. This will give the transaction details and show that it's active and when it will end. You can return back to core stake where you'll be able to find out more information about your transaction if you'd like. For any additional questions about core stake and how to validate using core web, please reach out to support.avox.network and an AVA Labs team member would be happy to assist you.